please gather your composure, sir, and keep it close at hand. Oh, what? This is unreasonable! I refuse to gather my composure! Sir, I believe he is falling to pieces. Something must be done about this. Yes, there must be. Do we have a doctor here? Is there a doctor? A doctor of the mental kind, please. I am a certified nurse. Welcome to the Explanation Picture Show, in which we hope to gain a better understanding of the rambunctious goings-on and shady schemings within the previously aired literal episode 4. As you can see, we had a lot of fun with episode 4. We experienced everything from cell phones and cereal bowls to men of short stature with loud projected voices. Who you calling, short boy? You ain't seen nothing yet! Just wait! Next month, I'll be on the judges' bench! Like I said, we had some fun. But seriously though, as we contemplated what episode theme we wanted to revolve around November, we knew we had two options. The first one would be the most popular, Thanksgiving. Although we do believe it is important to give thanks to the Lord for all He has blessed us with, we also knew that there was something else in November that needed our attention even more. Election Day, that's right, the day that we as citizens of this country take the great responsibility upon ourselves of choosing new leaders. But it's not only the big decisions the Lord wants us to seek its face in, it's the little ones as well. Nothing is too big or too small for Him to handle or be interested in. Philippians 4, 6, do not be anxious in anything but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Some people think that the small, everyday decisions of our lives don't interest the Lord, that they really don't matter, so He gives us the choice. But we here at SC Treehouse Productions disagree with that statement. Take, for example, the kind of milk I buy. Should I buy whole milk or fat-free milk? Some people think that it really doesn't matter which one I choose, but if we take the scriptures as literal truths, that our bodies are His temple, then yes, it does matter. Our nutrition matters greatly to our Creator, so thus, the milk I buy matters to Him as well. The little episode 4 is about a bigger decision for our main characters than just what kind of milk to buy. Now, the real question is, if I take the skin milk, do I get two Oreos? In episode 4, Doug Hoop, Mr. News, and Anne are tasked with finding a new co-anchor for WWBTV. However, we don't see any of them taking time to pray over this decision. Decisions are made based on outward appearance. He did have some good qualities about him. He was precise and clear. He kept my attention. And I know this isn't really important or it matters, but... You did have some nice hair. Personal preference. I didn't hear anything that man said. He put me right to sleep. You know, um, in one ear, out the other. But uh, I got an excellent nap in though. Excitement and hype. Everyone loves hearing about what's going on overseas. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what we need, yeah. <laughs> and even fear. You do not dismiss your commanding officer! I will dismiss myself when I am ready! Okay. I'm going home And although there was some wise decisions made. So, I thought our interview with Master Smooth Lips was a little lacking. He definitely had enough hot air to be a news anchor, but he never really 
said anything. We don't see their ultimate decision being based on prayer to the Father. Well, what's gonna be hoop, huh? Huh? Don't be a square. Fine, you two. Just fine. Whatever. Mr. Mia Jr. it is. All right, it's settled then. Mr. Mia Jr. starts work tomorrow. So, did they make the right choice? Well, I'm not going to tell you. But the important thing to note is that their final decision was not made by consulting God in any way. You and I do the same thing. Each day our brains make thousands of choices. Do we seek the Lord in those? Do we take time to ask for His guidance in the big and little, seemingly insignificant decisions? When my people, over whom my name is called, humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their evil ways, then I will hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open, and my ears attentive to the prayer offered in this place. Why don't you give it a try? If you don't already, begin seeking the Lord's face in all of your decisions, both big and small, and see what healing and forgiveness it can bring to your life. Hey, pat some milk. You need skim milk, my dear friend. You ate both Oreos. Okay. Mm, this, is, this is good to hear. 100% satisfied. It yeah, is pretty good stuff. I've it's about to help your heart. I've had better. Dude, 100% satisfaction guarantee or your money back. I'm giving my money back. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>